Oh my god! Oh shit! No! Oh! The British are coming! The British are coming! This is a British company! What's up everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna be playing some Hell at Loose. I'm gonna try out the British faction. It has been a hot minute since I have actually played this game, so uh, you can't say that I'm terrible at the game. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Man, I dislike the way that this guy's face looks, not gonna lie. Uh, I guess that guy looks okay. This guy almost looks like the Russian. I picture a lot of British people with, like, beards. Maybe that's just me. Alright, let's just go ahead and hop into it here. I can just find a freaking kill. Jeez. So before I really get into this, I want to do a bit of a uh, review here, I guess. Just a quick run through. So first thing that I really want to say is that I really do like the British faction, but obviously there are issues that I have with it. Namely the Bren gun. They did this gun dirty because it doesn't have a bipod. And also it kind of feels like a sniper because I was sniping dudes like left and right with it. Despite how much it takes up a lot of my screen. I really like the bridge map. I did not like El Alamein. Yeah, thank God it's not the f***ing desert map. It's a desert map for pain in the ass. All that much it is a very beautiful map i will give it that but there are a lot of open spaces that make it hard for infantry to try to push up to the next objective because they can just see you like they could plot themselves on hills and just shoot down at you the desert one is the absolute worst map hey, who are you? Like, there needs to be some sort of cover that we can keep you know moving through to try to get to the next objective or make it better for us to actually flank around overall i think that this is a good update it's just some things that make me like eh? i don't know if i like that There's there's definitely a lot of inaccurate things that I've seen a lot of people point out, but I don't look at that as like a big deal. I mean, I think the game would definitely be a lot better if they actually focused more on the accuracies. So that way we could put them on and be like, whoa, that's so cool that they actually put in that neat detail. But it's a big problem that I kind of have with Hell That Loose is that it's slowly over time become a much more casual game that's kind of shelled accuracies and tactical gameplay for a more casual experience. I'm not saying that this is necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it's not what they initially advertised. Advertised. With Hell and Loose, they decided to go in a completely different direction from what they said they wanted to do in their initial Kickstarter, which, in hindsight, was probably the better idea because now their game is a little more successful, with their game being more arcadey than realistic. I've been with the game since the alpha, and I've noticed that it's completely gone in a more casual direction from where it initially set its priorities. And with the acquisition of Team 17, it's even more so because Black Matter isn't even there anymore to dictate where things are supposed to go but yeah overall i think this is a pretty good update it's just you know a couple of things that kind of irk me i guess and uh yeah i wasn't a fan of lla main so let's go ahead and watch this other map that i liked better Fuck, dude enemy locks fox tank markets on the bridge Careful, they're right in front of us, they're right in front of us. Move up, lads, move up! He's like right here. Got that guy. I can barely see him. Gary Place and Bridge. And he's dropping a supply near the bridge on our side. I think Stu's a goat. He might got it. If you, uh, Watch out, Sherman. There's another. There's a bunch of Germans on the other side of this. Um, I can All right, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll do that. Yeah. Fox, 
Fox, tank marker accurate, enemy Panzer IV coming across the bridge. Panzer, copy that, we're also on the rails heading towards bridge. He sees the Cromwell, that's what he's after, he's lining up a shot right now. I hear that, food bar. Yeah. First shot miss, he's just over. Oh, they see the support. Uh, Mike squad, there's a guy right next to you. Is there an accurate, accurate mark? I don't know if it's accurate, but my guy said he's seen a whole bunch of people just keep coming from that direction. I'm gonna take out that uh, garrison that you marked, Fox Squad. Uh, coming towards real world. Updated, but still pushing in to rail right. Uh, can you mark that for me? I'm not seeing it. Oh, I see. Jake, there's gonna be a garrison up there by you somewhere. It's a lot closer. I can't see from there. Hey, cover me. I'm dismantling this from garrison over here. Yeah, I just fell down the road. Just 
Oh, there's a guy like down below, down below, careful. Motherfucker, I told you. Well, it was four more lasted, I guess. 